What's going on, recurring? Oh, fuck. Protect the rivers! We were... Please cut that out. I'm concerned about you, really. Give it to her straight. We're sort of keeping in the dark. We found out that Hayden's been killed by someone inside Parallax. We are now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? There's something you can tell me that this is all just a ruse by recurring to win a Pulitzer. I assure you, when given the chance to back out and do that, she chose to stick with it. It's about justice, not profit. Uh, it's about avenging his death, not profit. Yes, we'll get our revenge on those who hurt hate. Well, you sure did kick over a hornet's nest when you knocked over that data center. Well, assuming that it was you, yeah, my superior came and yanked me off of Hayden's case right after you got the, after I got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. That's bullshit, doublespeak meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. I'm betting that was the only step one in your two step plan to really get in trouble, too. Correct, Detective Rivers. We're now in the process of setting up the next phase. Alright, I'm in. <laughs> Can't stay away from the fire, eh, Lexi? Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed, or kind of... Your sister would never forgive me. And we just started talking again. Oh, please get back together, please. <sighs> so, screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whoever has the deepest pockets. I got this job to help people, and I've done too much, too little, too damn little of that lately. I am in. All right. Just like that. Just like that. What's the plan? Relix got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me, and they're about to launch a first independent machine ad intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. Whoa, I'm a little more worried that they don't, that they won't. That's some Big Brother stuff right there. Precisely our concern. With the data that we stole, we should be able to shut down the program down from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. That's our next target. Okay, send me a message for when to meet up. I'm not exactly sure where I can help, but maybe I can keep some heat off you while you do whatever it is. I'm certain your systems will prove invaluable. Oh, and recurring? Call your sister. She misses you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah. Seeing your ugly mug pushed me into calling her, so that's only fair. Maybe things will be different this time. Maybe I'll quit the forest regardless of what happens and be a PI or something. More free time that way. That's enough talk. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. Oh, please get back together. Goodbye, Detective Rivers. Alright, let's go find the nerds. One more ally on the side recurring. Yep, let's go find the... They should be at the... Hassy. Hey, Oliver. Talk. Starfucker. God, I love Starfucker. Recurring, turn. How is it sinking? Yes, how are you? Did... You need... See, see the... See the... Your, your arm on your glasses? It has to go over your ear. It has to go up here, not down here. It would They would stay on. You nerd. Busy. We're hoping we can enlist your aid again. <laughs> Y'all need some more fake IDs or something? Maybe there's some third hand VR dramas? Third hand? Yeah, like, you know, the guy found them when they fell off the back of the truck. I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. Ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn-of-the-century mobster movies with me. I regretted it instantly. Hey, I really like that one with that dude from Montana in it. That's... Whatever. So, what did you jerks need? Since apparently my VR dramas ain't hard enough. Well, we're going to be engaging some activity of dubious legality. And we're wondering if you wouldn't mind formulating a distraction to keep the police out of the way. Y'all gonna hit these parallax bastards? What did your dad in? Astute. He's smarter than he pretends to be. Do you have a plan in mind already? Just need to make some noise, nothing too dangerous. How do you feel about starting a little riot? Ambivalent. Okay. True ambivalence to good and evil. <laughs> oh my god. Oliver is actually Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hell yeah, we'll do it with both hands. That's ambidextrous, not ambivalent. Whatever, I only need one hand anyway. 
<laughs> I love these two so much. We just need you to gather a bunch of like-minded individuals and be ready to start a conflict with the hybrids where you're having March on the Human Revolution protests. They'll know what to expect it, so it won't be entirely out of hand, but the police will have to mobilize anyway to keep the crowd at least partially under control. Um, as much as we like to, we'll do it. Done all right by us, recurring. I'm almost even sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. I know we're all squared up already, but... Bit brain here is good people, so we'll call this a freebie, yeah? Between friends. Dots. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard, too. We'll show them these co those coppers how we do it in the OSF. I guess we're in. Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of the juvie. We'll need a little time to make these calls. I'll message you once we're ready to move. Hey, you need a call sign, Ollie. Can't do spy shit like this without a good name. Not a bad idea. What about... Megani-kun? Oh man, not more anime crap. It's not any worse than Starfucker. Well, because you ain't a star yet. Chad, we haven't even... Oh, they're together! Oh... Oh no! He's so cute! Oh no! That made me really happy! Chad, we haven't even... Ugh. You two are cute. Ahem. We'll be off to make those calls now. Right, Chad? <sighs> sure, Ollie, whatever you say. We'll be in touch. <laughs> Smell you later. God. <laughs> They're so cute. Well, on to the next thing, I guess. I do have to say, I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. I'm sure you'll find someday love. For, I'm sure you'll find love someday too. Huh? The thought had honestly never occurred to me, Ricard. I guess if we pulled this off, there would be one more puzzle for me to piece together. There's one more person I think we should talk to, Ricard. Doctor Freylight could perhaps give us vital information on how to get into server complex. I know he's just a board member, but I have a feeling he's been keeping an eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, Chad, and Oliver may be able to buy us cover, but Freylight could get our, our way in. I'm not sure that I trust him. I don't either, but I'm not sure we have any other choice. Out of everyone that's assisted us thus far, I trust him the least. He's an unclear ulterior motive, and I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but a calculated one. We should at least sound him out, if possible. We might be able to get a read on him if he's telling the truth or not. He should be at the hospital if previous correspondences with him are accurate. Alright. Let's, uh... Go to the hospital. I really don't trust him and Decker. Like, oh, hi, Decker. Um, I can't go up or any. Okay, I guess I have to talk to Decker. Hey, Ricard. Funny seeing you two here. We can help you with today. There have been developments that we need to let Dr. Freylight know about. Could you show us him to him? Uh, no can do. Sorry, but he's actually not here right now. I'm just doing his paperwork, filling out some prescriptions. All this new technology, and I'm still gonna come here in person. What a world, right? <laughs> anyway, Fairlid is speaking is speaking at this really important holiday benefit, and he'll have he'll let my rear fire interrupt him for anything less than the end of the world. So why don't you just lay it on me instead? Fairlid's gotten me up to speed on things. Hell, about the only thing I do, uh, only thing I don't do is wipe his butt for him. Um. We really should tell Fairlight directly. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those are usually going past midnight. Such ragers. We don't have that kind of time. Then... We'll pass. It's pretty confidential. Hey, I know all about the confidential. I'm pretty sure I still have my top secret clearance from the government. Unless they revoked it at some point. Probably did. Don't tell anyone, though, okay? I still need that cred to pick up chicks. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Come on, Ricard. Ugh, we have to tell him? Great, I'm happy to listen. Or at least some paid to me. <laughs> we recently discovered that Hayden was removed because he may have interfered with the secret project Parallax's launching. They've developed a network of machine intelligence. Okay, so this is all what we already know. 
We're hoping Dark Flayer like, can get us way in so we can shut it down. We cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity. Oof, you were kidding, were you? I can see why having a, le a leashed AI would be such a big friggin' deal. The comment from that kind of thing would be a scummy marketer's wet dream, not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. Does this qualify as under the world importance then, Mr. Decker? <laughs> yeah, sure as hell does. Actually, gets a bit, abo bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. What? Why not? Look, you know and I know that the old bastard's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial robot cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way to get back at the board ever since he was out. Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, so it's been win-win for us all, right? But he's gotten to have plausible deniability. If there's even a whiff that he over-orchestrated this, he'll be done for. This is all very clandestine. What do you suggest? He pays me well enough. He pays make me me to make these kind of decisions autonomously. I may fetching and gather for him, but I clean up little messes too. One would just call this a little mess, and I'll come help you myself. My military training should become more than enough to get us into a server mainframe without inside info. So don't trust you, Leon. Leon the professional. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is his name actually a reference to Leon the Professional and Decker from, from, uh, uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, a.k.a. Wow, why can I not remember the name of the movie? Uh, my brain isn't working. Harrison Ford, cyberpunk future movie. There, there, there's like a hundred different versions and there's a sequel coming. What the fuck is wrong with that? I'm, I'm sure I've put it in one of the black spaces on the top or bottom and called myself an idiot by now. Whatever. I do this for a living. I'm an expert, a professional. You're Leon the fucking professional. That means you're an assassin. You're too green to be that confident about going in alone, Anderson Cooper. You've made your point, Mr. Decker. It's up to you, Turn. Mm, Alright, we'll accept your help, Mr. Decker. Great, I need to see it, my way. We do this right, make them crash tomorrow, and Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. We meet us at the entrance to the Storm Drains, just south of the main Parallax Complex. We'll make our entity, uh, uh, entry from there. I can work with that, just give me a bit to get some of my old gear. I want to start the party unprepared. Hmm? Ugh. Well, that's the least of the pe last of the people I think we can recruit, right? Any more would be unwieldy, and we have to have a nice round set of skills to utilize. Let's head to Parallax now. I'm messaging Detective Rivers that we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us when we're there. Tom's cat should be done with the program soon, and we can head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We get one shot here. Ready? I'm saving right now, just in case. Also, I don't trust that Decker is not bad. Because Leon the Professional. <laughs> it's now Christmas Eve. No turning back? Ah, just to get rivers. I see you beat us here. Sure, wanted to get the lay of the lamp before anybody else showed up. You ready to head in? We're waiting for one other person, and then I need to get our distraction going. Can I save? Speak of the devil. <laughs> ah, Mr. Decker, precisely. Tech for Rivers, allow me, I know who he is. Leon Decker, ex Marine, served North Korea. Record, heavily dick, redacted. And he works for Organic Fairlight, who is, I'm sure, is willing to help us out in kindness of heart, yeah? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. I've never made a secret of Yannick's goals here. Hmm. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And trying, he, and touring here, trying. And touring here is gonna give Parallax an awfully bloody nose. Yannick can use that. Huh, I'm sure that's all your cards laid out on the table, huh? You sure you want to work with this guy, Turn? I don't like the look of him. You got good eyes, Detective. They're new. Oh, yeah, she's got... I forgot she had a... Uh... Yeah. Um, yes, Detective Rivers, I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. Statistically, there an... were an entire 70% more likely to succeed with his expertise. Fine, we'll play it your way. Great. What's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been able to, and unable to find precisely the schematics of these storm drains as they underwent some modifications with parallax against constructing here. 
But the city's primary power and communication lines still run parallel along them for maintenance purposes. The server center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the trains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. That will get us past the worst of the exterior alarms and defense of the complex. We don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. Water level rises frequency and the maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season in the middle of summer. The moving water should give us an enormous amount of false positives. We'll have to move quickly since the rain, uh, the rains upstream will cause erratic surges in the water levels. What about the server building? Do we have any plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Construction on that finished only last year. It's state-of-the-art and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what we've learned, I'm assuming this is built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all the data on the network. That's a that's the big bad AI, right? Right. The entire facility is out, auto, automated. Security, maintenance, even new construction, all run by ROMs. There might be a single human engineer on site to take care of anything the ROMs can't figure out, but we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. At least not immediately. He can handle some robots, assuming Leon is as good a shot as the blank marks in his file suggest. Lady, I'm even better than that. Once we make our way through the primary server control core, I can link myself into the network and Tomcat can work their magic. That's all we have to do. <laughs> That's an awful lot of question marks before we get to the profit, but we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add, Ricard? How are we getting out? I'll buy some time, one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with my badge. It'll be hell to pay later, but we'll make it out with our hides intact. You can just pretend I'm the bad guy that slaps the cuffs on me and can get me out of holding if I need it. Sound plan, Mr. Decker. Yeah, I won't have to pretend much for that. Uh, that covers it. Let's do this. Excellent. Let me call Oliver and put our distraction plan. After that, I'll call Jess. Dots. Turing, we're in position. Are you ready? Tell him I'm sick of standing around staring at, the, staring at these losers' faces. Shut up, Chad. I can't hear the phone. Ready when you are, Oliver. Go ahead and let Chad do his thing. Okay, we'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Chad, we're on. Hell yes. You ready to do this? Let's bust some skulls. Sorry. He gets overexcited sometimes. Come get some. Oh, someone just hit me with a bottle. Oops, gotta go. Wow, did you see that arm on that fox girl? So awesome. Oh shit. Mm, okay. Hello, Jess. Holy shit, did the robot really just call me? How did you even get my personal line? Um, you know what? Never mind. One more thing to have my tech guy handle after the CTV cameras all mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. Jess, we're calling you. I know why you're calling. I'm just here in the midst of committing a felony by inciting a riot. The one you helped, you two helped organize. Next time, just set up a signal flare or something. Let's get this going, people. Go show this revolution scum who the real future of humanity is. Good to hear you think you have things in hand. Oh, yeah, all under control. Keep recurring my love. This is kind of fun. Hey, Claire, see if you can wing that blue. The <laughs> wing that blue mohawk douche again. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Alright. Sounds as though she's having fun, at least. We're good to go. Let's hurry. Alright, let's go. The lid is mechanical and refuses to allow you to open it. Won't budge. I should have expected this to be blocked based on what I know of their issues with people making camps in the tunnels. Luckily, yours truly is designed and created by a high-ranking official Parallax employee. Who is very close friends with another high-ranking official Parallax employee. Whose access badge we now possess. Go ahead, Ricard. I... don't have any other option. What the hell? That's a real safe house microphone. 
Okay, um... Okay, uh, can you... Let me use it? Um, so I'm stuck. Uh, hmm. Well, I hope I don't have to replay an hour and a half of this. I'm also going to save really quickly because... Okay. Well, let's see if... No. Okay, I, I can't do anything. Okay, so... Um... Let's load and hope that it works, because if it doesn't, I'm not doing this all over again. Okay, well, you know. Um... Oh, that makes no sense. Because the security panel's here, I would assume, not on the lid itself. That makes no sense. That was not very intuitive. <laughs> Especially because it lit up the whole thing like that. I didn't know that you could click on the... Eh, whatever. Let's go. Okay, okay. It's time. Call Tomcat once we get inside, assuming we find a way in, and they'll lead us into the system. Dots. Let's go. That's why I clicked go. Huh. It's better lit in here than I expected. City replaced all the lighting in areas like this with low power, high durability LEDs a few years ago. Actually, it cut down on vagrants setting up camp in the tunnels and drowning when the rain comes through. Either that or they just could see better enough to know when to clear out. Maybe. Speaking of that, we should move quickly. Water's elect is likely to rise soon, so not high enough to be dangerous, but uh, don't flow well. I can handle being submerged, but I can't swim. Keep an eye out for one of the camps they leave out for maintenance crew. It might be printed on the wall, or maybe a terminal if someone was willing to waste that much money. Okay, everyone, let's keep moving. Alright. Do I have to... Oh! I actually have to hit W on this. That was... I didn't see the big arrow. That was weird. I have zero idea what's going on. That sounds like water. Look, there's an information terminal. Huh. <laughs> now we know exactly where the city spends the credits. Let's see where we go out and plan our path, then. Be careful, everyone. The water's starting to deepen. We need to get going. If the water rises too much more, we're gonna get washed out of here. The terminal will probably be okay, but the rest of us need to breathe, mostly. <laughs> so we're here, we need to get there. So we need to go... Well, what way are we facing? Turn around, turn left, 
left, left, and then straight. So turn around, turn left, left. Nope, not where I wanted to go. Okay. Yeah, I know. Stop driving and keep our stunners above water. We can't risk them getting shorted out. Okay, but it didn't... That map is super hard to read. This water is getting mighty high. We have to get an exit now. Okay, I'm trying, okay? I, I literally don't know where to go, because that map made no sense. Okay, so I guess we get washed out. Okay. Uh, I got something in my mouth. <laughs> that was fun. Everyone's still breathing? I think so. The water level has fallen again, but we're back at the entrance. Just have to walk it again, huh? Okay, let's start moving. That is... This is not a good system for this at all. A red stop sign, a warning sign either way. It doesn't make you want to... Be there, okay. I know it was forward. I guess we just follow the cables. Be careful everyone, the water's starting to deepen. Let's try right! Where are we? Wait, what? So, oh, we're there. Okay. I thought we, the exit was here. We were there. And the exit's there. Okay, so just another turn. And then another turn. And there it is. The ladder we're looking for. Finally, remind me to pass on this part of the ne mission next time, Ricard. I'd rather deal with your sister being mad at me. Main server building is just up there. Let's hurry before someone notices us. Those kids probably can't keep up that riot too much longer. Hmm, I think I know where we are. Parallax filed this building's plans with the city per regulation. Although they're certainly incomplete, these hallways have been mapped out rather well. Straight shot to the server core from here, more or less. Got activity. Looks like something's moving up ahead. The building security VI must have noticed us. We have to make it past those ROMs without getting ourselves caught. No problem, we just got stunners that will make those bots fry. Well, is there another way? We don't have to destroy them completely, do we? I'm gonna put too fine a point on not to put too fine a point on it, Turing, but they're not like you. They're just plastic and programming puppets. But they won't always be, not for much longer. Actually, Decker, once we're replacing Big Blue with my original source code, we'll have the power to make every ROM a sapient individual, just like me. No, it seems like splitting hairs, but it seems wrong to destroy them when we've come here to give them life. They deserve it. Oh, fine. Here, give me that stunner. Oh. Alright, done. I've changed the setting on it to give a low yield with a more lengthy pulse. Should disrupt them long enough for us to get past and do it. We, it won't do any permanent damage to any systems that can't be repaired. Hmm. Does that assure, assuage your bleeding hearts? Yes, thank you, Mr. Decker. Okay, cool. Zapper added. Okay. No problem. We can't all be soldiers. Going will have to do all the shooting, though. Decker and I will keep our stunners on default settings so we can handle any humans that show up. Low power pulse will just piss most people off, but it won't stop them. Lead the way, recurring. We're almost there. Well, that means we have no weapon now for if we run into humans, so... Oh, look. That's Malcolm Jr. model. From basic maintenance cities, mostly. They're cute, too. Wait a second. They're shooting at us? Take it down, Ricard. Um... Okay. We've got more of them. 
Oh, what is this all of a sudden? This is like, um... Oh, whoa, that's a full scale Malcolm. Uh, this is like the end of, um, what was that? Is Hideo Kojima's like first game? Oh, God, that's. Uh, was it? It wasn't Hacker, it wasn't Slasher. What was it? Uh, uh, again, I'll put it somewhere up up top. Because I'll remember it afterwards. Hey, turn and return. At this point, I think Lexi and I should hang back and guard the entrance, in case more security shows up. The alarm has been tripped, so backup is bound to arrive sooner rather than later. Good idea, neither of us knows anything about the technical stuff. I don't trust you alone with Lexi. We'd be useless down here. That works, we'll move as fast as we can then. Be careful, you two. Good luck up ahead. We'll catch up soon. Come on, Akron. I don't trust him. I don't trust him alone with Lexi. I swear to God, if she dies, I'm gonna be so mad. It should be the last hurdle before reaching Big Blue. Hmm. The configuration ahead doesn't match the available floor plans for this section of the building. This path is blocked off. We can't go further in this direction. Hold on for a moment. I'm gonna tap into the maintenance mesh to see if we can find a way to open the path. Got it. We should be able to move around freely enough using this. Do you mind opening the door in front of us? What the fuck? <laughs>